Hi, my name is Steve Brostowitz, and I teach transitional kindergarten, kindergarten, and first grade. And today I'm going to tell you some activities you can do when teaching your students to count from 1 to 30. The first thing you want to do is get your students a means of expression, perhaps a chalkboard or a whiteboard or a magnet doodle, something where they're going to get to write the numbers down that they're guessing. And then they're going to get to write down a way to represent those numbers when they're counting. Because we don't just want rote counting, one, two, three, four. A lot of students can do that, but they don't realize that it represents objects, that you're getting more objects as you get bigger. They're just saying it almost as though they're reciting a poem as sounds coming out of their mouth, not realizing that four actually means the quantity of four, and that's what we want to teach them. Then what you do is you hold up an object, or project a picture, or hold up a picture or show a movie, depending on what you have and what you're comfortable with. Let's say you hold up a grizzly bear, or show a picture of a grizzly bear, and you say, how many feet tall do you think this grizzly bear is? Do you think it's six feet tall, like Mr. B? Is it seven feet tall? Eight feet tall? Meanwhile, you can, or you can have a student, pointing at your numbers on your wall with a pointer or a laser, so the students can have a way to look at how to write that number and they make their guess on their chalkboard, and then you reveal the answer. Thumbs up if you got it right. All right, let's all count together to how tall the bear is. One, two, three, four, up to seven. And they get practice counting. They see that seven represents a certain amount of feet in this case. Or if you say, how many marbles are in this jar? Ooh, there's 12. And they get to see what 12 actually means. It represents objects of this amount. So then you say, well, the bear is actually seven feet tall, and you can show them seven feet on a tape measure. Let's all put seven feet on our board, or let's represent seven feet. One foot, two foot, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet. How many is it? It's seven altogether. The other game you can play is a game I call Steps. And you go outside. And again, you don't want kids just counting by memory up to 20 or 30. You want that 20 or 30 or 16 to mean something. So as a group, let's all take 16 baby steps. And the kids take it as a class. And then you say, well, how far do you think we'll get if we take 12 big hops? And the kids guess, I think we'll get to the basketball hoop. Let's see if we can make it in 12 hops. All together now. Now let's do six crawls and the kids are doing activities they enjoy but they're counting them as they're doing it so they're getting that one-to-one -one correspondence as they take each step and seeing that 12 steps doesn't get them quite as far as 30 steps and that's part of their number sense ladies and gentlemen this is steve rostowitz telling you a couple games you can play with your kids when they're learning to count between one and 30. i'll see you next time